this tutorial, I'll cover how to combine ChatGPT and Leonardo AI to create a stunning artwork using Adobe Photoshop. So it's going to be very fun and I'm going to give away a brand new LUT and that LUT is for my Patreon members only. So if you are not a Patreon yet, please check on the description list below. And if you love resource poster design and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are tons, yes, there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we're in Photoshop and let's create a background first and to create a background I'm going to use ChatGPT and Leonardo AI. So this is the reference picture and I want to generate a, a kind of similar background. So let's go to ChatGPT first and let's drag and drop a reference picture right over here. And uh, this right a prompt prompt to create exact same image L E N A R T Leonardo AI remove the ICT remove the aware flares club logo and all the text and let's see so okay so this is the prompt and i think let's copy this prompt and let's open leonardo ai and let's go in images and let's paste the prompt right over here and you'll get 150 credits every single day and then I'm almost running out of from my credit so let's click on generate and let's see what it comes up with token so so usually this is how I generate the image but I'm gonna use the one that I already generated before so this is the background that I'm gonna use for this tutorial so let's click on control N and let's Click on 4x5. Let's drag and drop this image right over here. Let's convert it as a smart object. Let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. And let's make a selection. Let's make a selection right here. Let's make a selection right over here too. Let's make a selection on the bottom. And let's click on generate and let's expand. And the image all right mm, yeah I think I like this person better so I'll just keep it like that and I have a pip, uh, player cut out ready so let's drag and drop this player cut out right over here let's convert it as a smart object Control T and press Alt and Shift at the same time and let's scale it down just like so. Maybe let's add a rotation a little bit here. We go. Let's erase this ball from here. So let's create a layer max. Go to brush and make sure the color is black and let's go for a general hard brush and click on that layer max and let's it is make sure the flow is up here we go and this is what we got and uh, let's add a curve let's drop down and let's make it really dark let's click on that layer max maybe add a little bunch just like so And let's click on that layer max go to brush and let's add the 
highlights right here so with the black color selected uh, let's add some white edges right here and before that let's change the brush to general soft brush and let's drop down the floor right around here here we go and this is how I usually add the highlights So this is before and this is after and now let's create a one more layer let's click in that create clipping max and go back to brush now let's go for a kind of lighter green color and let's use the brush and let's add some A's glow right around here Here we go, this is before and this is after. Let's drop down the opacity a little bit just like so. And let's add a one more layer, create clipping max again. And with the same brush, let's add a little stroke right around here. And maybe here too. And let's drop it down a little bit. And let's drag and drop our another clear cutout. So this is the one. Let's drag and drop right around here. Let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Let's make it a little bigger, just like so. And let's keep it inside a group. Control G. Create a layer max. Go back to brush. And let's erase this part just like so. There we go. All right. And again, let's do the same thing. Let's add a curve. Let's make it way darker. Let's click on that clip to layer. And let's add a little punch just like so. And again click on that layer max go to brush and make sure the color is black and let's just start adding some A's glow here we go maybe some right around here and maybe some right here and let's do the same thing let's create a new layer right click create clipping max again go back to brush and with this white color let's add some is glow right around here maybe a little white around here So this is before and this is after. Let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Just like that. And let's go on very top. And now let's do some color adjustment. So select this layer. Go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And let's see. Let's increase the shadows just like that. Yeah, let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's drop down the vibrance and for the red uh, let's drop down for orange yellow 
and for the heel let's move it more toward on this side for the luminance let's drop it down orange let's increase and again let's go back and let's drop down the highlights some more increase the whites maybe increase the exposure just a little touch just like so and let's click on ok so this is what we got and let's go on very top add a look up i'm going to use windy creamy lock pack and this lock pack is exclusively for my patreon members so if you're not a patron yet then please check in the description is below and select on this slot and click on load and this is what we got let's add a color balance and let's see let's go a little bit toward red and let's move it more towards blue just like so and let's add a curve on very top and there we go let's drop it down just like so and and so after adding a curve let's let's add a new layer let's go to edit let's go to fill and let's change into 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dozen burns let's go over here and let's add a burn tool and let's make this part a little darker maybe some here just like so and let's add a little duds right around here and let's add a burn some more here we go just like that and let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e let's convert it as a smart object let's go to filter and let's go to blur and let's add some motion blur and again create the layer max go to brush and with this general soft brush let's change the brush color to black and let's give it some of this part just like so and yep so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye